Thanks, Thank you. 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 of the human penis. It is not a ventriloquist act and at no point will my friends or I be whipping our dicks out during the show. Not unless, of course, it goes terribly wrong. Or in the case of my friend Sean here, incredibly well. Yo! This is a male version of the vagina monologues. We simply saw a gap in the market and we could not resist our male urge to... What is this thing? It's a source of shame and pride and inspires laughter and fear. It's a symbol of power, yet it's incredibly fragile and weak. It can be a pound of flesh or an ounce of wrinkles, and it can be used to express both love and hatred. Also, it can create life or condemn us to death. Oh, it can pee too. So how can one ridiculous flap of skin and sinew be all these things? Well, in our show, Talking Cock, you are going to find out the answer to such questions as... Is size important? And if not, why are there no two-inch pencil thin vibrators? Do men really think with their dickies? Do we really have two brains and only enough blood to run one at any given time? Or do we have no brains at all and an excess amount of blood constantly thinking of something to do? How can men cope when getting harder is getting harder? Come find out at the Wiggle Room on 220.